Uh, so my character in the play, his name is Robert, um, and he plays Thomas Collymore within the play. And Robert is uh, kind of like a prolific actor. He kind of takes everything seriously. He wants to make it the best, and he wants his other co-stars to do the best they can as well. He wants to find as much chemistry with them, and overall he wants the play to go right, but in the end, you know, he does whatever he has to make it go right. So I play Sandra, who is playing Florence, and Sandra, she is this eccentric woman who believes that she is all that and a bag of chips, and she loves theater, but she is really, really bad at it. Um, so One Act is basically a competition where you have to perform a 40-minute play in front of a panel of judges. I'm definitely most excited for competition. I chose to do this show because I love to compete. Uh, what I enjoy about the play is its overall concept, where it's like a play within a play. I think it's very well executed, and overall it's just like a, a good experience for an actor and for an audience. Okay, so my character is uh, Chris. He's the director of uh, the show in the you know, currently Polytechnic Universe, which is the drama society he works for. He's the most, he's the most competent of all of them, I feel like. Uh, everyone else in the cast, in the universal cast, obviously not the real cast, has um, you know some sort of issues. You know, I think that he's the most frustrated with the things that go wrong in this show. My character is Dennis, who plays Perkins, and he is kind of a clumsy butler, and he is like the butler for the Haversham's, which own this big old mansion. And I think of him kind of as like Bertram from the uh, Jesse. And he's like really clumsy, kind of stupid, kind of slow, but yeah. I think this is one of the first like really big comedies that I've been in. All the other ones have been like musicals kind of or like serious. And this one is just like a shorter, really funny play with a smaller group of actors. And I really like this one. My character is Max, who plays Cecil since it's a play inside of a play. He's kind of a really arrogant guy who thinks he knows it all, even though he actually doesn't know anything, and is technically the worst performer on the stage, so he's very clumsy like that. My favorite scene would definitely have to be a scene where, due to an accident, Florence, who's played by Melanie, is knocked out, knocked out and we have to try and rescue her while preserving the show. So all this is happening while another scene is happening where Jack interviews me. The character that I'm playing is Jonathan, and he plays Charles Habersham, um, which is the dead body. Essentially, the play is basically a murder mystery on who killed this dead guy, and basically, I'm that dead guy. So, real cool. Something I enjoy about the play is just the amount of fun the actor gets to have in it. I mean, the script is just overall so funny. It makes the actor's life really easy, and all the actor has to do is just really execute, and um, you're going to have a really funny and enjoyable show. So, I, that's what I really like about it. What I'm most excited about this show is to see the audience reaction to the jokes and the comedic timing of the play. Uh, this play is obviously meant to be very funny, it's a play that goes wrong. And so I want to see how they react to certain jokes and uh, just, you know, if it's enjoyable. My character in the play that goes wrong is named Annie. She is the stage manager of the murder at Haversham Manor and she essentially gets shoved on stage, she doesn't want to be there, she has to fill in for another actress, and she's just like, ah, 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 I don't want to do this. But eventually she embraces the role and actually ends up fighting with the real actress for the role, so she, um, she gets invigorated in the end. My favorite scene in the play is probably where the inspector is um, interrogating Florence and and she jumps ahead in her lines and he is trying to catch up and she is saying her lines before he gives her his before he gives his cues <laughs> and uh, I find that one hilarious. <laughs>